Well, hello, uh, hello, all you uh, radio people. It's Bob and one KPR, and uh, here we are with another AM receiver. Uh, it's a, it's quite a DX machine. This uh, is based on the old TFT technology uh, during the EBS period. That would be the emergency broadcast system. Uh, this particular unit is uh, a super hat. And when uh, EBS went to uh, EAS, the emergency alert system, as opposed to the emergency broadcast system, back around 96, I think it was, uh, TFT and their units went to uh, direct digital synthesis uh, with PLL circuits. Uh, the nice thing about this super hat is that it's got a very wide front end. Uh, so the selectivity has to be toned down in the RF stage. There's no roofing filters. And that's why you'll see here a pre-selector. Uh, you tune this thing digitally, 1 megahertz or 0 megahertz, then 100K and 10K. And uh, you're digitally uh, locked in with a crystal type uh, PLL. It's kind of like a true, not like today's PLLs, uh, but sort of. But anyhow, it puts you right on frequency. There's no doubt it's on frequency. Uh, you then have to create a uh, roofing filter. This is actually kind of a, a parametric roofing filter, uh, or in simple terms, a pre-selector. Anyhow, it works out really well. Uh, the nice thing about having such a broad front end is that you get all the audio. Uh, you can get 10 kilohertz wide uh, input signal, and uh, that really works out nice for long-term listening. Uh, this unit originally came with tone encoders and decoders for the uh, EBS and EAS systems. Uh, we took those modules out and added what we require for our a ham radio and Aries and emergency uh, MCOM type stuff. Uh, the stuff we need in our hobby, since we're not professional broadcasters. Uh, this first module uh, has an antenna in and shunt for safety purposes. Signal level, which we derive from the, uh, the first IF, uh, which indicates uh, below 50 microvolts and above 50 microvolts. Let's get it on here. Uh, I don't know if we can pick that up in this camera, but you can see we're over 50 microvolts on this station. If I detune it uh, with the attenuator, you can see that it flops over to the, uh, yeah, I think we got it there, uh, to the less than 50 microvolts. We get an actual reading here for reference purposes. And right now, the carrier is jumping around with the, uh, the positive audio modulation, so you can see we're in, in the 40s and up to the 50s, even in 60 at times. Um, we can invoke a uh, preamp, which will add 10 dB to the system. Uh, next to that, we have the a few stages down in the receiver. We have a carrier detect and demod, so we can keep the system off and let it monitor 24/7 for the EAS alert tones, the emer national emergency tones. And uh, just take a look at it and make sure the silly thing is working. Again, pre-selector, one meg, zero megs, 100k, 10k for tuning. And we get over into the audio. We have a low-pass, high-pass filter to make listening comfortable. Line out level so we can drive uh, a remote transmitter or um, EAS uh, alert tone decoder, whatever and leave that completely independent of the monitoring. And the monitoring we do here. Skills to take them where their dreams are. Math Made Easy wants to make you an offer. They'll improve your student's grade by at least one full grade. And depending on how that comes over the this uh, system here, that's uh, it's pretty darn good audio. We also have an internal speaker, so we're pretty much standalone. Using math concepts, using a step-by-step -step approach, the affordable math 
And that's all it takes to operate it. Again, all the EAS switching would be from the back, from the line level. We could set it up here where we can actually, uh, we can get up to plus 12 dB. It says uh, that's a clip warning, but we're not really clipping because this thing's got a plus 18 or 20 dB head in. Uh, plus 6, the middle green light is a 0 dB for reference if you're recording. So you'd want to keep it dancing around there. Uh, but that's it. It's a pretty uh, pretty nice little thing. I'm going to use it in the morning for traffic and weather and, uh, and the local news until we install it over at the club. Again, it's a TFT basic unit from uh, the 80s and early 90s, but uh, it's been repurposed. So there you are. Uh, there'll be more on my website pretty soon. This is Bob at N1KPR, and please go to my website, bobsamerica.com, and uh, thanks for looking.